So it's officially winter today. We've got a bunch of snow and I'm really excited. I'm gonna go out and check our rabbit system. Uh, we got ready for keeping rabbits through the winter just in time. And so we built a cold climate proof rabbit watering system. And uh, before we go out to the greenhouse to check it out, I'm just going to make a cup of coffee. But before I do that, I just wanted to let you guys know about a live stream that I'm doing today. It's all about rabbits. I'm gonna be interviewing Eric and Colleen Rapp, who just wrote this amazing book, Raising Rabbits for Meat. Um, and so I've been reading this book like mad over the last couple of weeks in preparation for this interview. And it's uh, really helped to inform how I'm gonna go about keeping these rabbits through the winter time. So I'm excited to show that to you. I'm gonna make my coffee, get my coffee ready to go, and then we're gonna go outside and uh, talk about our rabbit system. If you're interested in checking out the live stream, I'm doing it today on the Verge YouTube channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So sign in to the channel right here at three o'clock and bring your questions because Colleen and Eric are gonna bring their answers. We're gonna be giving away a free copy of their book. And if you're on the On The Ideas Verge mailing list, which you can sign up in the show notes below, you're gonna get a 25% discount code if you buy it within the next 48 hours after the live stream. So let's go check out the rabbit system once I've got a coffee. in on the rabbits and their cold climate watering system and here we go Let's see how warm it is in here so it's about minus 10 I would say outside and uh, it's really warming up nicely in the greenhouse here which is pretty typical of passive solar greenhouses at this time of the year um, and so we've got a couple of rabbits here let's uh, introduce you so we've got sarsaparilla right here we're hoping she's pregnant. Uh, we've got Doe, who's uh, the newest addition to our collection of rabbits. And then we've got Buck, who's the all-star. And he's the guy that is responsible for 50% of the action. Um, and so you'll notice, if you can see at the back of the cage there, that we've got a little rabbit font. It's a little bit difficult. Here's what it looks like up close. And so, these are a watering system and if you just click on this little this little nozzle right here that's where the water comes out and so this is connected into two pipes that sits in the back there and you'll notice that each of these cages has one of these water fonts and actually that one in the back there if you look carefully you can see that it's got um let's see if i can get the focus right it's got it's got ice uh, on that one so you can kind of get a sense of um, how cold it's getting here at night. Um, this one not so much. Looks like Sarsaparilla might be figuring that one out. And uh, wow, Buck's really excited to see us right now. So, so what we did was we set up a Rubbermaid container like this one here. This is just one of those things that you'd find at a football game. It's an industrial drink cooler. And you'll notice that there's two pipes going in here. So this pipe is the return pipe. It's got a little valve on it and that allows us to control the back pressure. So how much pressure is actually going on to these little fonts right here. And this one is the supply line. And so the pump is connected into this one and it's pumping up. And you'll notice that there's a really specific reason that these pipes are on an angle such that if the pump ever shuts down, then the whole system will naturally drain back down into the tank and it won't end up bursting the pipes. So that's why we've got those pipes on an angle. 
Um, inside of here, if I can undo this, I think, uh, my Rowan must have screwed this on a little bit too tight. Let me see if I can get it undone for you guys. It's the one disadvantage of the screw on lid and I probably should have gone through the side in order to make this a bit easier. But inside of this, we've got an automatic water heater that's just floating on the top. It uses a very small amount of wattage and then the pump. And so five gallons of water for four rabbits will actually um, keep the rabbits watered for up to eight days, which was kind of my intention. I didn't want to have to come out and change frozen water bottles every day. Um, and so that's how that system works and it seems to be working really well. I have been having an issue trying to get the, the bunnies to um, drink water, however, and so um, we'll see how that goes. I guess it takes a bit of time to train them. Um, one of the other things that we've done is we built this ledge down here uh, to collect all the manure and it also collects all the urine and you'll notice that I put some Tyvek film down there so that it, the wood doesn't get saturated with urine. Um, and so the urine actually does collect in this little lip right here. And one of the big problems about keeping greenhouses and livestock together is that you end up creating this huge ammonia issue. And so one of the ways I'm dealing with that ammonia issue is by putting in these wood chips, which has unfortunately frozen. There's an enormous amount of water in there right now. Partially it's urine, but also um, one of the things that we've had to do is force this thing open so that it would drip such that um, the bunnies get used to the fact that water comes out of here. And so all this dripping has made a bit of a mess. Um, and so there's a lot more liquid coming off here than there normally would be. So I've got to remedy that. That's one of the things I've got to do today. So I'll get on that as soon as I'm done making this video here. So if you're interested in exploring rabbits as a potential micro livestock for your urban or rural homestead, um, or maybe you're looking at getting into it as a business, you're definitely going to want to make sure you should come to this show today. Um, again, it's going to be happening at 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Um, I'll put all the information on the show notes below and uh, bring your questions. We're going to be talking about everything related to rabbits from a sustainability perspective, from breed preservation, uh, interesting history and facts about rabbits. Um, and lesser known facts that you may not have been aware of. So I hope to see you there at the live stream today, 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time on the Verge Permaculture Channel. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video.